a corporate conversation going now on our show. Shares of PNB Housing Finance are under pressure after the company reported an operationally weak quarter with the net interest margins coming in at 3.49% and spreads at 2.12% at a six-quarter low. The company's gross NPA ratios, though, have improved and come in at 1.7% which is a 17-quarter low. But the street is a bit disappointed with the margin performance. Uh, we have with us Girish Kowski, MD and CEO of PNB Housing Finance, to take a few questions with us. Uh, Mr. Kowski, morning. This is Reema here. First, uh, if you could provide the outlook on margins and spreads. Uh, we have the performance in Q3. What is Q4 FI25 going to shape up in terms of NIMS and spreads? Okay, good morning. So if you look at uh, in last one year, uh, no, we had taken a conscious call. Of course, this was, I think, a couple of years back that we are going to run down the corporate book and we will uh, start you know, only when we feel fit to restart. So, obviously, you know, if you have to look at uh, the margins, uh, we will be able to maintain margin, you know, limb of about 3.5%. So, the impact was largely due to corporate book uh, degrowth and also there was a one off uh, effect. So I think that is the reason why this quarter is soft. But however, you know, we are trying to fix this because now we have uh, launched uh, Affordable, which is now a little over a year's time, and we see good traction in that space. And we also plan to start emerging market, you know, in coming financial year. Mm. Mr. Kauzgi, uh, good morning. So what is the uh, rise in the cost of funds? I mean, what has that translated into the uh, higher risk weights now for NBFCs? What exactly has that meant for you? And when you say you'll try and maintain the margin, can you give us some rough uh, band to work with? Is 3.5 uh, a good estimate to have for the next couple of quarters? Or do you think you can you know, claw back to the near 4% levels? Oh, uh, I think 3.5, it'll be around 3.5%. It won't be 4% because that was an aberration even in the past I had mentioned when the NIM was 3.8, 3.95, that you know, it is not sustainable because we are into monoline uh, business. Uh, in terms of cost of funds, the cost of funds actually for us has come down, uh, even though it is just marginal. Uh, you know, recently, we got an upgrade uh, from India ratings from AA to AA+. Plus, and now uh, we have sanction of 3,000 crores from NHP. Uh, we have taken the first tranche, uh, you know, uh, so that would bring down the cost. So we are also expecting cost to slightly come down going, uh, you know, in future, maybe in next two to three quarters time. So one uh, cost would come down. We will change the mix and uh, we'll change the segment wise mix and try to improve on the yield. And that is why we say that uh, NIM would be in the range of uh, three and a half percent. Fair enough. Uh, what's the size of your affordable housing segment now? And what are the new segments you're looking to finance? And what might that size grow to the opportunity? Uh, in fact, we're just starting now. Affordable, as I mentioned, we just started a year back and now the book is about 1100 plus crores. And uh, we are starting emerging market. This is basically focused on tier two and tier three, uh, where uh, we would uh, try to build the book at a higher yield compared to prime. Today, if you look at our overall yield is about 10.29% uh, X one off. And on the affordable, now it is 11.5%. So from uh, April onwards on affordable, we will up the yield to 12.5%. And uh, on prime, uh, the yield will be about 7, uh, it will be about 9.7 to 9.8. And from emerging uh, segment, which is going to be about 40 to 50 branches, which we're going to start from April, then the yields are going to be about 40 bips higher than the prime. Mm, okay, so then affordable is making sense for you, rise, uh, you know, rising yields there. Uh, that's what you want to focus on. Overall, can you just sort of give us a sense on uh, the growth of the AUM, how you will probably end FI24 in an outlook perhaps if you can for 25? Because the thing is that even in this quarter, the disbursements were much higher, I think around 20%. The AUM growth for, was 4%. So is that because of the rundown on the corporate side? And just what's Absolutely. the outlook on the... Uh, okay, and what is the outlook on AUM growth? So I think two things here. One is I think directionally PNB Housing as a company, we are moving into higher yield segments. That is we launched affordable, now we'll be launching emerging markets. So we'll be present in three segments from uh, April onwards. That is prime, emerging markets and affordable. Affordable and emerging markets would give us you know, upside on the yield and prime would help us to grow. If you look at last four years, 16 quarters, Three quarters out of last four quarters have been the highest. 
and mm. also in terms of book growth in last 16 quarters last three out of four quarters has been the highest in terms of book growth the uh, uh, if we look at uh, on a yoy we are at 13.2 percent uh, book growth on retail we had guided about 17 percent now that uh, looks like we need to moderate it will be around 15 percent however from coming year onwards the growth is going to be 17 percent on retail a corporate book which used to be about 18,000 crores, now it has uh, come down to about 2,000 crores. So that we will run it down. And uh, going forward, uh, the whole story is going to be on retail within retail these three segments. Got it. Uh, so just one more question on affordable housing. I know you've started it a year back. The size is about 1,100 crore rupees. But you know, I remember a chat we had with Canfin Homes and they indicated that they're actually shifting from affordable housing to higher ticket uh, you know, homes in terms of, you know, lending. Uh, so, you know, tell us why affordable housing at this point of time when the demand is more towards higher priced homes? See, for a housing finance company, as I mentioned, it is a monolan business. So we need to have multiple segments. The company which you mentioned, you know, that would be, you know, for us equivalent of emerging markets. So affordable is uh, one space where the scale up would be difficult to you know once the book reaches a particular level, but we can gain traction in next two to three years time and grow the book faster. Once the book grows to let's say about 10, 12,000 crores, beyond that growth would be a challenge because you will have high attrition given the fact that the book would be at a higher yield and there is BT out opportunity, right? So similarly, uh, the emerging market also would give us uh, you know, some impetus on growth and yield. So we want to be available in all the three segments, then we would have covered the entire spectrum of mortgage industry, being in prime, emerging markets, and affordable. The only segment where we won't be is the super prime, which we want to, uh, I think tactfully we took a call that we need to come out of that segment because there's a lot of pressure in terms of uh, rundown and also BT outs and also in terms of pricing. And therefore, out of the four segments, we want to be in three segments. And that is where the strategy. So companies which are only into affordable, they may want to get into a bit of prime to show growth. And companies which are into prime, they may get into affordable to better their needs. Uh, Mr. Kowski, we leave the conversation here for now. Thank you very much uh, for joining in. The union budget is now less than one week away. What is your wish list for the finance minister? We're presenting to you the CNBC TV 18 budget ballot. You can share your budget expectations with us on our website by scanning the QR code on your screen or by logging in to cnbctv18.com slash budget.